Mostly it's the mountain bighorners. Whole herd of them up on the cliffs there. Usually they're not too aggressive, but lately, whew. My guess is one of the calves got lost somewhere along the way. Bighorners are communal. One missing calf, and the whole herd gets ornery. If that calf doesn't turn up soon, they might very well come down into the valley and attack the camp. Yeah? Hey, thanks. Most of the hunters don't listen when I tell them the problem. Just one thing. Try not to kill any bighorners if you can, yeah? You'll drive the herd off and we'll have to range farther on our hunts. Of course you do. I understand. You know, I heard stories about rangers from back when. They carried lightning sticks that stunned the animals. I've never been to any of the back when places, but they might have left one when they died. You might also try luring the baby out with some banana yucca. The mountain bighorners love the stuff. Feels good to be doing sexual scouting. Just following. I wish it could have been done different, but at least the calf is back with its herd. Best place to look for back when stuff is the taboo places. Sorrows and dead horses don't go in there, and even white legs don't like them much. Lots of them around the valley. Places built by the folk from back when. You'll know them when you see them. Scouts mark them with handprints. The handprints are a warning to keep out. Angry ghosts live inside. Not that I believe in angry ghosts. They're just spooky old places. Right? Lots of back when places to choose from. But for the things we need, best to start with the really closed up places. Three I know of. A building down by the river called a fishing lodge. The old ranger station in the northwest, and the general store right by it. Closer to home might be something you can salvage from the place where the little ones fell, just west of the Eastern Virgin.